All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back for another hands-on hardware review of the WerTrue S30 lightweight gaming headset. And so what this headset is, is it is a lightweight, yet still pretty sturdy headset that won't break the bank at around $15 to $18 that you can connect to basically every device under the planet, from your computers to your tablets, and so on and so forth. And if for whatever reason it doesn't connect with the regular jack that it has on the bottom of the microphone, it comes with a splitter so that you can plug it into your typical earphones and microphone plugs that come with a lot of the computer cases that you'll buy with a modern PC. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at this unboxing video for this bad boy and see what it looks like. So the Word True S30 headset comes in just a pretty standard box. It tells you what color it is on the side, along with all of the different things that you can plug your headset into that it's compatible with. Because it just plugs into a standard 3.5 millimeter jack plug, it's pretty much compatible with everything that has the same plug. And the inside of the box, if I can actually open it, is just the headset in some foam wrapping here. And then there's the splitter at the bottom of the box, along with some basic instructions to help you get started if you're not familiar with using a, the different 3.5 millimeter jack plugs in things like your PlayStation controller, your Xbox controller, or even your Nintendo Switch. The headset itself is wrapped, like I was saying, in some foam padding. It's like a little foam bag. And it comes with a pretty decent length cable it's got a built-in noise-canceling microphone that's pretty decent. I would say that if you're in a room where there's a lot of talking going on, like if you're in the living room with your family or some other people, they would probably be able to hear some of that on the microphone itself. But otherwise, it's good quality. The earphones themselves are padded in a nice fabric that appears to be machine washable, although I didn't actually test that. They do come off, and they do go on again pretty easily. And the construction of the headset itself is actually pretty solid. The mechanism to adjust the size of it is actually built into either one of the different ear cups. And then the wires that run from the earphones across the headset actually come out just above it. So be careful when you're adjusting the length and the size of it just so that it doesn't damage those cables. So I will say that despite the weight and the lightness of this headset, it's surprisingly well constructed and robust. So you're not gonna knock it and damage that quite that easily, which is probably why it doesn't come with an excessive amount of padding inside of the box. And of course the cable itself comes with an inline mic mute and volume adjusting dial on a little controller on the middle of the cable. And then it comes with the little splitter for the end that allows you to convert it to a standard 3.5 millimeter jack setup where one side is for your headset and one side is for your microphone. Although I've, my computer's got the one that's just the unified plug, so that worked out pretty well. And when you plug this into your PC, what's gonna end up happening is your real tech drivers will kick in and then it'll start to control both your microphone and also your headset playback. As far as quality goes, like for the playback sound, it's got good stereo playback, but it's not surround sound quality. You're not gonna get that full range of sound and especially not directional audio. So just keep that in mind when you're using this headset. It is a budget 15 to $18 headset for a reason. It's good quality, but it's not earth shattering quality either. So yeah, I mean, it's a good little packaged headset and it's a really cheap price. And for all of that, and the fact that it's actually pretty tough, I would say that's something worth keeping in mind because this would be the perfect headset if you have kids or they have like, you know, friends over a lot to play video games and they're kind of rough with their electronics. This would be the kind of perfect electronic to buy for them. That way, even if this did get damaged, despite the fact that it's pretty well built, you wouldn't have to worry as much because again, 15 to $18, depending on where and when you purchase it. So let's go ahead and take a listen to what this sounds like when we open it up inside of my audio editor. This is just a sample of the 
microphone itself. It is somewhat noise canceling, but like I was saying before, if there's a lot going on in the same room as you, you're probably going to hear some of it. So just keep that in mind. This is an audio sample from the WordTrue S30 light gaming headset and gives you kind of an idea as to the range of audio that you're going to get from the microphone when you use this to play games out on the web. So as you can hear, it's got a decent range of tones, and I was kind of surprised because when I first started playing video games out on the internet, I was really used to cheap discount 5 to $10 microphones kind of sounding like a toaster oven that was run through a microwave. They sounded scratchy. They made you sound like you were a chain smoking old man from like the sixties. They were not great, but this one solid quality. You, I could see you easily using this to communicate with people online and people aren't going to be confused by what you're saying. It's clear. It's a good range of tones. Although I definitely wouldn't try to use this to start, you know, a streaming career, but it's a good starting point, especially for the price. And keep in mind, I've, you know, been testing this through a number of different scenarios, including popping into a game to play in Helldivers 2 to see how it performs. The audio is there, you know, it's good quality. It's got, I can hear exactly what's going on all around me, which is especially important in a game where things can sneak up on you and attack you. Oh shit, run out of there, man, run out of there. That was my bad. So yeah, this has been a look at the WordTrue S30 lightweight gaming headset. Like I said before, it's a good price point for this. It's $15. It's decent quality. It's not earth shattering quality. And you can plug it into basically all your tablets and your computer. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of is this little splitter here. The whole idea behind plugging it into your PC is a lot of these cheaper microphones are switching to USB-C or at least a converter that comes in the box because it's easier to use and is a lot less prone to hiccups and other issues that you might have, especially considering I know a lot of people that don't even hook up these particular plugs in their computer cases anymore because they expect them to come with a, a little converter like this where you plug in, you know, the two and it turns into a USB-C inside of there. But other than that, I mean, that's my really only gripe is that's a lot easier to use than these splitters, but the splitter worked fine when I was testing it. And I, you know, again, if you have the unified cable plug for this on your computer, even better. It's decent quality and it's cheap. And I'd say I would recommend this, but again, remember why you want it to be inexpensive yet rugged is because you want it to plug into everything, but you're kind of not super sure if it's going to get maybe damaged or not. And you're not ready to kind of upgrade to something more expensive with more of a surround sound quality. And of course, the links to this headset are in the video description below. If you're interested, it's available on Amazon and it goes on sale fairly regularly. So bye and have a good one.